Previously on Big Brother. At the veto competition, nominee Brittany lived to fight another day. You win the golden power of veto. Matt made a risky move by offering to become her replacement. I'm okay going up. If you really want one out, make it pretty clear that you're Matt putting up as a pawn. And though head of household Rachel had her suspicions, I must trust him as far as I can throw him. The self-proclaimed genius became the pawn. My replacement nominee is Matt. When Brittany confirmed Rachel's biggest fear, Matt's playing the game, Rachel. He has been acting like he is so pissed at you for putting him up. She called out Matt in front of the entire house. Matt, you are playing everyone in this room, and you are trying to get out of it. You got busted. But Matt didn't back down. You two are certainly a target for me next week, and if anyone in the house thinks that you shouldn't be a target for them next week, they're idiots for sure. And when the votes were revealed, Matt's plan worked. By a vote of seven to two, Monet, you've been evicted from the Big Brother house. At the head of household competition, the house guests began a battle of endurance. The last person standing on their surfboard will be the new HOH. Who will become the new head of household? Find out tonight on Big Brother. I knew he was going to do this. is up for grabs. The last person standing on their surfboard will be the new HOH. But there's a catch. The first five house guests to fall off their boards will be the halves for the week. That means of the five that remain, four will be the have-nots and one will be the head of household. This game begins now. Oh. Surf's up. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Come on, Brendan! I know that Rachel and I need to win this head household competition. We're the outsiders. The entire house is against us. We have a huge target on our back. I want to be her knight in shining armor. And the only way I can do that is if I stand that board. One of the brigade members have to win this. So uh, we're safe another week. We got to drop grenades and take these people out. I am a loner in this house, and I need to win to protect myself from being a victim in the house. To add to that, I can't be a have-not because I can't eat the slop. It's not kosher. I need to win the HOH because I don't really know where I stand in the house after Monet is gone. She was the only person who I could really 100% trust, and she's not here anymore, so... I need this. By a vote of seven to two, Matt, you are safe. Monet, you've been evicted from the Big Brother house. Surprise, surprise, America. Matt's right again. Everything works out as planned, just like I thought. I once again orchestrate exactly what I need to orchestrate. And now it's moving on to HOH, where I will undoubtedly sweep that as well. The reason I didn't vote to keep Monet here was the house was shifting towards Monet uh, leaving the house. So if we went against the house, again, it kind of puts a little bit bigger target on our back. Monet was the house vote. You have great pressure, Monet. Don't take it to the heart. Monet jumped out of that seat like a clown running from a bull. It took her literally two seconds to get from the seat to the door. I guess we're going to miss you. We didn't get to say bye. Thanks, guys. Except for two of you that could... I might have sealed my fate when I voted for Matt. I vote to evict Matt. But that's okay. I'm going to do what I want to do because it's me voting and no one's going to tell me how to vote. Sorry. 
I know Brittany gave the first vote to kick me out of the house because her and Monet are best friends. And if I'm a betting man, I'm going to say that second vote was Kathy. Anyone that's out for me, I got to be out for them and beat them to the punch. I know that this week is going to be tough. I hope that the people who are responsible for Monet leaving get what's coming to them. surfboards avoiding freezing cold water pouring down on us and then the surfboard is moving back and forth i'm trying to figure out the best position and i had to keep moving turning relaxing my muscles this ain't a juice sport so chill yeah huh? like i have not shower as the board's moving in and out it also tilts and it gets really really close to the wall so Somebody who has big feet, like size 13, like myself, yeah, has a difficult time. Man, you got soaked. Yeah. This is fun, though. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Talk to me too often. I know, I know. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I didn't wear jeans. Right? Me too. <laughs> For real. The first couple of competitions I didn't do too well in and people notice that and i'm gonna let them continue to think that so i can just fly right under their radar for now <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> here in california they do things a lot different you put me on a bull uh, a bucking horse i can ride it all day you put me on a wooden board uh, obviously i can't hang <laughs> they got me thankfully kathy fell off before me because I wouldn't be able to live it down for the rest of my time here. Kathy and Lane, you are the first two out. That means you will not be head of household, but you will be last for the week. Come on, Enzo, you want your food. <laughs> Swirl yet. You got this, Brendan. I can do this all night as long as I don't slip. Two spots left for the Hobbs this week. What's going on with my half? Got no friends over here. This half is cursed. Here comes a storm. I felt safe this week. I don't want any more enemies in the house than I have to make. So, you know, I threw the competition. I may as well eat and have a great week. Hayden takes the four spot for the halves. Who wants to be a half more than they want to be head of household this week? There's one spot left. I don't want to stand in this water anymore, and I'm not about to be a have not for two weeks in a row. It's not happening. I'm out. <laughs> Kathy, Blaine, Kristen, Hayden, and Brittany, you are all the halves for the week. And everyone else, unless you win HOH, you are a have not starting now. So that's it, we have not. It's make or break right now. The five half spots are all taken. So I know that everyone up there is in it to win it. And I need to win this competition. I don't like it when it shifts because that means trouble. Woo! How are your shorts doing, Ed? <laughs> <laughs> Look at sexy! Love the Daisy Dukes. To me, those shorts don't look kosher, you know what I mean? If I wore those things in Jersey, forget about it, bro. I'd have to move. <laughs> Andrew will be dropping here pretty soon. Oh, big brother, how you love to torture me. <laughs> you got it, Reagan. Is that all you got, surfboard? Is that all you got? I'm trash talking an inanimate object right now. In a half hour, they unleash crocodiles into the pond. <laughs> I'm just trying to suck people out at this point. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm playing the drums on the wall. I'm bouncing up and down on the surfboard. I'm chatting people up. My main goal right now is just to get in everybody's heads. You guys, I'm a favorite in this, if you're betting. I'd wager my dollar that I won on me.
At this point, I don't care if I'm bleeding from every part of my body. I cannot let Matt win this HOH competition. There we go. I was just starting to dry off, too. You doing okay, Andrew? Nope. <laughs> Are we gonna be on slop again, though? No, there's only one spot I'm going for right now. <clears throat> Enzo, you're impressing me big time. I'm impressed. There we go. Now we're talking. That's a little game. At this point, I'm on the board. My right leg's killing me. It's going numb in and out. But in my mind, I'm thinking, if I fall off this thing, Papa ain't going to eat. I can't do another half now week. Good job, Enzo. Good job, Enzo. Did you all right? Good job. Good, job. good job, Enzo. I slipped at the last second. You did a really good job, Enzo. Thank you. I'm really impressed. Thank you. I could have done better, though. I let down Jersey. I let down the brigade. I let down my family. I mean, I'm giving myself the horns right now. After Enzo falls, all we have left is Matt. He has to pull through to make sure the brigade is safe. For all the bull I had to endure in high school, if anybody who went to high school with me is watching this, not only am I on Big Brother, but I'm doing okay in an endurance competition, so you can... When I look at an endurance challenge, the word endure means something to me. I thought a lot about the, just the bullying that I had to endure when I was in junior high school and high school. So it was kind of like a proud moment. Have not or head of household. Reagan on the board. I feel safe with everyone in the final four except for Matt. I hope that Matt falls. I hope that he trips. Something happens. I really need Brennan to come through for us. There we go. Good job, Brendan. Good job, son. Good job. Good job. Matt has every reason to put me and Brendan up on the block. So if Matt wins, we're screwed. Okay. Good stuff, Brendan, bro. I'm impressed, bro. You're a beast. You're a beast. I'm upset. You know, I feel like not just I let myself down, but I let Rachel down. This was a girl who went head of household last week for us. So I felt like the, the least I need to do is keep us in the game by winning head of household. Good job to both of you guys. I'm, I really honestly am honored to be up here with you guys. This is not. We're pretty handsome dudes. So it's me, Reagan, and Andrew left. That's it. It's my safety at hand. It's the safety of the brigades at hand. I'm the only one that can be the hero in this situation. And uh, it is very important that I win this. You doing okay, Andrew? My daughter! I really badly need a letter from my family. I miss knowing what's going on with my family and my daughter. And uh, I would cry now, but I'm not going to. Stay focused, man. Stay focused, guys. Man, you better quit acting so cool on this porn. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cold! Hey, Andrew. What? I want you to know that 100%, if I get out of household, you're not going up. Or, like, if power veto's used in no shape or form. You heard that, everyone? So no nominations, yep. no replacement? No. Okay. And I give you my word. I give you my word. 
I trust Reagan, and, and if either of us win the competition, I got a two out of three chance of being safe this week. The odds are looking good for me. What's this deal? You guys game talking a little? Yes, sir. Let's talk game, you're leaving me out of it? Jump in at any time. I got nothing to say right now. I'm all right. I know you know. Good job, Andrew. Good job. Mentally, I could have been on for five hours, but all of a sudden my tuchus got pushed and then I couldn't rebalance myself. It felt like someone pushed me off from the back. Andrew, good job. Now I'm down with a 50% scenario. I need Reagan to win. If Reagan doesn't win this, the worst case scenario just came true. Congrats, Matt. Congrats, <laughs> Is there any way that Matt and I can just like talk privately? Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you yeah, guys. Please. And Andrew, will you make sure the door is closed? Thank you. <laughs> good job. Yeah, good job, man. There's no need to make a deal. What, just what are your thoughts? Because I'm, I'm happy to, I don't mind being a have not. I would love for you to be able to get pictures of Stacy. I'd love to be able to get pictures of Stacey. I actually trust Matt. I know that there's been a cloud of suspicion over his head this week, but we have bonded. We've talked a lot about his wife and our respective lives. I think he's a really good, solid guy. Like, I want to give you head of household, but for me, to, for them to leave and then me just to be like, oh, I fell would be, would look horrible for me. You don't have to give it to me. I'm totally fine. I think I can do this all night. So if you want to play it out, we can play it out, too. I don't really care. I smoked for 18 years. I quit cold turkey. I can do this. I have to get my yarmulke. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Come out. Come back out. Oh, great. That is chilly water. Big Thanks. time. Wait, you didn't think I had this in me? After Matt wins, still we got to keep the brigade a secret, so inside I'm saying, Matt, I want to punch you in the face, but in a good way, good job, man. Congratulations. See you in a bit, Stace. This is the worst case scenario. Matt winning basically puts a huge target on our back. Really, I just want to go be with Rachel and, and not talk to anybody for a while. Thank you. Awesome. Unbelievable. Matt won, like... You can't treat him differently, you can't. You know what I mean? 
Because it's just gonna push him to put us up if you act like that towards him. I can't treat him differently, you know. Guess how I want to treat him? I know. Like a snake. I know. So get up for a couple days, wait till nomination, see what happens. I feel so nervous right now about being nominated. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna go on the block. Like, Matt would almost be an idiot not to put me up. Okay, we have each other, right? That's what we are. It's you and me. That's gonna get us through. Damn amazing. Hey, Matt. Can we talk for five seconds real quick? I'm gonna talk for 20 seconds if you. I have almost. Is this a closed door talk? Yeah. I know everyone's gonna try to hit you up to talk. And... Yeah. What's the deal? I think I don't want to cry because I don't want you to think I'm trying to play an emotional card. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I understand that. Like, I never wanted to attack you or come after you. I see a deal as two people agree to common terms and then, then the, the plan plays out. So I fulfilled my terms of the deal, which is going over the block, and you completely backed out on your side of the deal. Go get by telling everybody that it was a secret. I don't even want to make deals with you guys anymore because you break, you break them on me. No, I get that. Like, it really hurt me the way that that all went down. Okay, you're right. But um, I'm not playing both sides of the house. I'm playing my side of the house. My alliance is with my wife, me, and... That's why I'm a bit ruthless, because I have no allegiances, so I'm kind of going to do what I think I need to do. My worst nightmare just happened. I feel like we just had an opportunity to get him out, and now I really think Matt's going to send me home. I've got Pilgrim from the pig. Say dog. That's the dog. See the dog over there? See the little dog? See the dog over there? <laughs> I'm gonna go walk the dog. I think he's got a... A dog? Am I saying something wrong here? <laughs> Enzo is hysterical. <laughs> he's like a character from The Sopranos. He's completely 100% Jersey. Say, hey, can I borrow your saw? I call it a saw. Saw. A saw. I call it a saw. Hey, can I, can I borrow your saw? Saw. Also, you gotta say sa. 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 I thought you said sores. Sores. <laughs> I reckon I like your sa. <laughs> What's wrong with the way I talk? Do you have any coffee? Do you have any co coffee? It's to me, it's coffee. I got Brittany, the Beverly Hillbilly, trying to teach me how to speak. Coffee. Ca -co. Coffee. Co coffee. Ca coffee. Coffee. I reckon I'll go walk the dog. I reckon I'll go walk the dog. Perfect. <laughs> Come on, man. Give the meow meow a break. I think she's speaking wrong. I reckon I like your saw. I reckon I like your saw. Yeah. Wow, I can't say that. It feels so weird. What else do you say wrong? <laughs> Who wants to see my head household room? Excitement, everybody. Oh. Oh. oh, look at little me. My kitty, my parents. Oh, my wife. Where's Stacy? Where's Stacy? I was taken at a bar that we used to go to. Aww. Crazy. <laughs> I was genuinely emotional seeing all the things that my wife put together for me, seeing the pictures of my family. Everything was just so awesome. This is your chocolates from your wedding? Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are our wedding shot glasses. Read your letter. Hey, you want me to read this? Yes. yes. All right. If you're reading this, that means that you've won HOH. Words cannot express how insanely proud I am of you, not just for winning HOH, but for making it this far. As for myself, I'm getting along good. <clears throat> I know you're worried about me, but you have no reason to. I'm in great hands, and I'm staying strong and holding it together. Everyone has been so amazingly supportive, helpful, and caring. <clears throat> I'm even getting home-cooked meals. That's such good news. <laughs> That's such good news. <laughs> Everyone misses you. Hearing Matt read his letter put a new perspective of his wife's disease, and I'm really sorry that I doubted it before. Love you millions and millions, Stacy, Toxie, and Taco Bell. Aww. That feels good. Okay.
So my wife writes me a letter from home. She talks about she's feeling better and everyone misses her and is taking care of her. Everyone in the room took that as talking about her disease. So it totally helped on my lie. Everyone's buying it and it's working perfectly. I feel that really good. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. This is so sick. I was so, so. We are rolling and rolling and rolling and chugging along, dude. Just like we planned. Yes. About time. Rugged. 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 Let's just throw yo, it out. Yo, big up. Yo, big up. Let's throw Maddie, it yo. out, dude. Big up to Maddie right here, yo. Real good. Yo, we we finally deny. catch a break. Did we finally catch a break in here? Yeah, what? It is so awesome to finally get the brigade together. Celebrate our awesome victory. Plan my reign of terror to roll through this house. Dude, the brigade train is churning along. Brendan and Rachel have to go, bro. It's, there's no question about it. See, this was perfect, what they did to you. Now, everyone in the house understands that you should definitely get revenge on it now. You know what I mean? Like, everything is in, like, everything's ready. Everything's set. A public enemy number one from the brigade would have to be Brendan or Rachel. We want to get grimy this week with it, so... That's the plan. I think Rachel would be like more of a scapegoat because she did to me. And that, all exactly. Well, of course, I'm going to listen to the brigade. They have their opinions on what I should do involving Brendan and Rachel, but Kathy tried to vote me out, so uh, Kathy's kind of on my radar personally. And one of them deserved to go home because they tried to do you dirty that day, bro. <sighs> Hold it, man. All right, here. Yeah, go to bed, man. Brigade. Brigade. We'll talk. We'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> I love it. This is gonna get serious. Obviously, I'm loyal to the brigade, but Kristen is someone special, and I'm going to do everything I can to keep the both of us safe in this game. Like, I like Kristen a lot, because every night they're with each other. Kristen the is, there's been stuff about Kristen and uh, yeah. Hayden. As friends, long line friends. I would believe it if so I wasn't I would, in the brigade. I would watch out. I'd watch out. Yeah, I mean, no, watch out. You talk about it. Kristen in front of Hayden. No, no. I, it, this, <laughs> yeah, don't no, say no, anything I, to Hayden. Yeah. But they look exactly alike. Yeah. If you look at oh, the like pictures. Like siblings or something? And they have the same birthmark. Could be cut. No, uh, on could the be, stomach. They really? Could be, they could be cousins. Because I was like this. I goes, hey, how come you didn't hook up with her? She goes, nah, she's a cool girl. I was like, yeah, but you're always with each other every, every night. Whoa. Every night. Look at their faces. <laughs> That would they be, could be the cousins, bro. They could be cousins. And we cannot. But he doesn't hook up with her. Like, they don't flirt or nothing. That's They're weird. always with each other. I wish you were nailing her. Hayden spent a lot of time with Kristen. I don't know if he's trying to get a digits or whatnot. I don't know if he's trying to run game on her. But it's definitely getting suspicious. Hayden's got to remember bros before hoes. Yo, I don't know what's going on over there, man. What's going on? How do you think? Like, let's play this out. Let's sit in French. Brigade's rolling. You can just know. Keep her to like the final five, like as much as you can, and then turn on us or like. I'm telling she's got a dog. I'm telling you this right now. If she's last that long, she's got a dog. Because here's what's saying. She'll, she'll snap on us. Let's she's say they're friends. I don't think her. even if they're friends, I don't think he's gonna turn on us. Hopefully, don't have it. What do you think can happen? Oh, I'm sorry, my face in your face? No. <laughs> you cut my hair like that, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Andrew definitely knows how to kill a romance. So, I mean, Rachel and I are just spending a little alone time. Andrew, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll get it when she's all done. Thank you, Andrew. What would we do without you? I mean, come on. Does he have anything better to do? Just a little privacy. Okay, Frisky. Can I just make out with you? Mm -hmm. uh, 
Oh, good, Andrew. We're just laying here. Don't worry. There's no big brother babies being made. Let me just get my stuff out before you start going nuts all over me. Every time I walk into the room, it's Brendan and Rachel always in the bed. But you know what? Get a room. It's very awkward for me to walk into a room seeing people doing that. I, I'm like a nine-year-old kid. I'll be out of here in two seconds. Enjoy. <laughs> You're back to normal. I kind of feel like Andrew's like the third person here in the relationship. To the <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. So at this point, I'm just like, screw it. We're just gonna keep making out. We really don't have anywhere else to go. So, what are you gonna do? Like our own movie. Okay, you be Brendan and I'll be Rachel. So, what are you thinking we should do tonight? Uh, my abs. Babe, you abs don't need any more work. They're perfect. My back. Oh, you look so good when you do that, babe. It's like so hot. Oh, I need to look in the mirror and make sure I look okay. How does my back look from that angle? Oh, look at my abs. Babe, did I, tell you? I need to have I a serious conversation. You. Serious. My face. Babe, my back. I just. My abs now. Oh, my face. What about my boobs? <laughs> it's like a soap opera 24 hours a day. We get to watch them cuddle and kiss and oh, Brendan, oh, that's so good. It's like oh, nauseating. My hair is so wet. I love it when you do the dirty boy look. I love role playing. I've role played a couple times uh, back in Texas, uh, mainly with horses and cows, you know, wondering what they're saying and what they would say to me. The shadow makes your butt look good. Oh, thank you. What about like this? <laughs> they fell right into that. <laughs> I think we're getting something kosher, bro. They're going to factor that in, man. <laughs> I'm a have-not again. I don't want to eat slop no more. Uh, hopefully America represents. Gives me something good to eat. Chateaubriand and... <laughs> Caviar. Yeah. I can survive on raisins. Raisins, grapes. Raisins and what, then? Raisins yeah, grapes and... would be great. Rattlesnake. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Can Raisin. you cook rattlesnake, Brendan? Yeah, why not? What if it was turnips and TV dinners? That would be awesome. Octopus and Oreo cookies. Oh. That's it. It's a wrap. <gasps> See what we got. Oh, uh, we got. Uh, you got a card here. America has once again voted for a treat that you can enjoy anytime in addition to slop. Have nots, this baby food and bok choy buffet is just for you. <laughs> I saw baby food and I felt like what comes out of the other end of a baby. It's Enjoy. kosher. <laughs> it's kosher. And it is kosher. Oh, blueberries. Wow, I'm happy. Looks like someone threw up in plates. And they're like, here, yeah, America gave us the horns. And it's baby food. Baby food and bok chak or baccarat. I don't know what that is. It looks like a bootleg piece of lettuce. I'm not eating it. There's no way. I'm good to go. Kosher baby food. I can eat this stuff all day. I don't mind if I'm a crawler or a toddler. I'm eating all stages of this food. It's great. Nominations the next day are the worst. Oh, they're horrible. All rest for the wicked in this house. No. At this point, Brendan and Rachel are desperate. They're going to do whatever I need them to do. So either I put them both up now, one of them's definitely going home, or I kind of use them to my advantage, maybe make some deals. It's a win-win situation for me. Basically, it's like this. Two things are biting me in the ass right now, or us all of us collectively in the ass. One is that I'm kind of playing this by myself, and the other thing is the fact that you guys called that house meeting and winched me in front of everybody. I think I made some mistakes last week that I wish I wouldn't have done. Such is life, I guess. That there's no good reason for me not to put the both of you up. Matt, you were never, ever a target, ever, until I know. that stupid house meeting. I wish you would have talked to me. I'm telling you, Matt, like, if next week Brendan and I are in that HOH together, we have a good chance of winning. Which is my proposal to you. I will now put you guys up 
You guys will both compete next week. You don't put me up. If I'm not putting you up this week, I'd like at least initial nominations. You leave me alone next week, you know? Don't put us up. I'm fine with that. It's the only thing I can do right now that gives you both a chance to stay in the house. Matt has put up really interesting offers on the table. He said he's not going to put up Brennan or I, but that being said, I just don't know if I can trust Matt. Hi, man. Thanks, Matt. Hi, brother. I do appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Would you like me position, so executioner? I, well, I have good news and bad news, and I think it's primarily good. <clears throat> so here's what's going on. You were like public enemy number one, <laughs> week one, and then you started getting better, and you've started like being more social and integrating, and everyone kind of thinks you're a cool dude now. Wow. They actually, they like you, we're all cool with you, we think you're fun, you know, you're being very social and hanging out. However, due to the social nature of this game, this is what I'm thinking about doing. Okay. Um, Andrew, I, I need someone to go up. And that may be you, but I don't want you to go home. I'm like 99.9% .9 positive that you, you are going to be in this house. If it doesn't work and you go home, I will feel like such a... What happens all of a sudden that you're not trying to get one of the top two out? There's a major backdoor opportunity here. Huge opportunity. I mean, Matt, if you want to get someone out, put them up. Makes sense to me, obviously not to Matt. You don't have to be quiet at this stage of the game. I just thought my blind said you, and that's what's happening. Brendan and Rachel are both the obvious choice, but when you're a diabolical super genius like me, you don't always go with the obvious. So uh, I got some time to think about this, and I'm gonna decide what to do and hold my cards for a little bit. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. I am sweating today's nominations a little bit, but again, if I sweat too much, I'm still giving this guy more power than he has. He's three and a half feet tall, so he's going to nominate who he's going to nominate, and I'm going to worry about it after the fact. Matt, it makes no sense what your plan is, but you don't care because obviously it's my life. Okay, got it, but it may blow up in your face. Matt gave me a glimmer of hope. He said he's not going to put up Brennan or I, but I don't know if I could trust Matt further than I can throw him. Now, I'm nervous about any nominations, and especially this one, due to the fact that I did vote for Matt. I'm hoping that Matt will understand that there's more threats in this house besides myself. I think it would be a mistake to put me up there. There's a lot of gameplay going on. It's not just me randomly picking two people that I don't like. I gotta make sure that the brigade is cool with, with the people I wanna put up. There's a lot of gameplay that has to be thought down the road. I can't just think in the here and now. Hey everybody, it is time for the nomination ceremony. This is the nomination ceremony. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two of you for eviction. I'm gonna pull the first key. That person is safe. That person will pull the next key, so on and so forth. Reagan, you are safe. Thank you, Matt. Kristen. You are safe. Thanks, Matt. Eden, you are safe. Benzo. Thank you, Matt. You are safe.
Rachel. You're safe. Thank you, Matt. So, I've nominated you, Kathy, you, Andrew, Kathy. The competition's have kind of been on the low end. Socially, I have no idea where your game is at, if there is one. You were the only other vote against me, except for Brittany, but that was her best friend. Uh, Andrew, you were gunning for me. Maybe you still are. As all of you can attest, I don't have alliances, so I gotta look out for myself. When I got two people that are gunning for me, that's what I'm doing. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Absolutely don't understand why Matt put me up. He has way more bigger targets than me. I'm gonna fight so hard to stay in this game because this sheriff ain't gonna leave yet. This is a stupid plan. It, it makes no sense to me. This has a big potential of TNT blowing up in your face, Matt, because I will be coming after you. Yeah, Matt, he better have a backdoor plan uh, ready to go here. You know, we got to break up the super couple here with, uh, you know, Brendan and Rachel. I hope he's got a masterpiece uh, ready to unfold. So nominations have been made. Everything is going according to plan. Maybe if someone wins the power of veto and uses it, I may consider backdooring Brendan and Rachel. But right now, I'm just sitting pretty. Who will win the power of veto? And will they use it to save either Andrew or Kathy from eviction? Find out Wednesday at 8, 7 Central on Big Brother.